Hello my shining stars cancers, this is your horoscope for November 2023 and join me for my traveling to the State Lake in British Columbia. Here is what stars prepared for you in November. On November 2nd and 3rd, Jupiter will become a post sun. It means that you will become more ambitious and probably receive some opportunities that you've lost in the past or you will have another chance to step on the same rakes as we say to check if you received the last life lesson last time on the 3rd of november saturn is changing to direct from retrograde that it was in retrograde since march 16th 17th and saturn is responsible for your relations and partnership in your birth chart. Saturn is the planet of documents, former legal certification, negotiations. So you might expect some clearance in your love affairs or maybe partnership, or maybe you will decide to part your ways and divorce, or maybe someone will propose you if some matters of your heart or relationship didn't develop since March, right now you will see that Saturn will stop retrograde phase and will move on the same degrees and the same house. So you might expect green light regarding trips, foreign lands, legal documents, visas, foreign passports, education cycles, and so on. If you didn't pass some exams in March, here would be a great time to pass them and universe will bless you with focus and good luck. On the 4th of November, Venus will become opposed Neptune. So here is advice to postpone any legal, financial or formal matters. On the 6th of November, Mercury will have a good aspect to Neptune. Messages might be appearing in your dreams. That's why pay attention to your dreams and listen to your intuition. The same day Venus will have a good aspect with Pluto in your house 7. You might meet your new love. You might have new passion. Your intuition will be very talkative to you. You might have life-changing events around 6 of November. On 8th of November, Mercury will have a great aspect to Pluto in the same house of your relationships. It's best time for spending time with your family, friends, having party, romantic dinner. It's a great time for open communication, even with your enemies. On the 9th of November, Venus will be changing houses. It will enter your house 4, where last month you had solar eclipse in your house 4. House 4 is everything connected with real estate, your property. And as you know, Venus is the planet of harmony, comfort, parties, joy, entertainment, sweets. So House 4, it's relocation, it's land, investments, mortgage, maybe something will be connected with purchasing the beautiful things for your house. Or maybe you will receive the contract that you wanted. It also can be news about your mom and or motherland. It's a female figure in your surrounding. On the 10th of November, Mercury will have negative aspect to Saturn. Make sure that you will double check all your mails and packages because at this time, emails and mails packages can be lost as well as there is a high risk of miscommunication that's why I double check when you speak to other people if they understood you correctly also don't respond uh, too fast maybe you will misunderstand somebody just reconfirm and be patient on the 11th of november mercury the planet of news cars thoughts the house of ideas will visit your house six house of work and health as well as retreats maybe you will become a pupil or a student or maybe you will become a teacher it also can be news about your work routines pets your siblings anything connected with extra responsibilities that you take on your shoulders it can be also resigning of some documents or renewal of some certification 
On the 13th of November, new moon in Scorpio will be in your house 5, house of joy, happiness, entertainment. It's one of the most beautiful times for making yourself happy. More than that, you will have also Mars joining in the same house and Sun joining uh, from 23rd to 25th in the same house, house 5, which is one of the best aspects. As well as you need to know that Sun meets Mars only once per two years in the same house and for you it will show you the focus that you will be having during the next two years and a half probably so here expect some events that you will be involved either you will be planning a wedding or maybe you will be planning a happy divorce that will take up to 2.5 years um, maybe you will plan the new business new contracts new online business maybe some projects that you will be working at maybe you will write a book or create your masterpiece painting here you have to ask yourself what brings joy and inspiration in your life so happy events can be also connected with pregnancy if you if you want to have a child so for the next two years you will be involved in your hobby in inspiration in trips art kids marriage everything connected with house five on the 17th of november sun will have a very good aspect to neptune it will be time to rest and have parties meet friends sun will be oppose uranus so here you might have some unexpected events or change of the plans on the 20th of November, Mars will have a good aspect to Pluto. It means inspiration, action. Maybe you will step up in your relationship or you will elevate your finances to the next level. On the 23rd, Sun is moving to your house 6, house of health and work. Sun is healing, so if you, if you were sick for a long time, here would be the time when you will start healing, as well as Mars. Um, on 25th of November, Mars will enter the same house. Here you have to be careful about your health because Mars is uh, symbolizing usually sharp objects, as well as energy, sport, passion, sex, action, conflicts. If Sun means healing and Mars can be operation, time operation that will save your life, it will be a very good outcome for having your health issues resolved. Also, house 6 is house of pets, as well as service businesses, discipline and solving the problems. Maybe you haven't passed exam for a long time, here it will be the great time to pass it. Maybe you were looking for resolving some issues and problems for a long time, especially for the last six months. Here you might have some ideas, you might meet some right people that might give you good advice. Here you have to be also careful because from 24th to 26th, Mars will have negative aspect to Saturn. It means obstacles in your short-term projects and uh, short-term investments. That's why focus on the long-term goals, long-term finances. Mars is in your house five. So everything connected with your inspiration, art, your own business or your relationship. If, for example, you were not engaged on a new moon, uh, maybe don't force uh, the events. Be patient and good things will come to you. Here is advice of this aspect to focus on long term goals. On November 27, we will have a full moon in Gemini in your house 12 house of foreign lands, isolation, solitude, healing processes, results for some work that you've done before. If you started therapy since June, July, you will see results right now. If you started something in June, July, because it was a new moon in Gemini, especially connected with immigration or passport or therapy or self-discovery, Maybe you were traveling at all this time, so now it will be time to come home. So full moon is usually shows the result of something that you planted in summer. Many cancers, they will receive new job. The new job in uh, 
correction facility or in a spa on a cruise ship something connected with healing or isolation maybe you will find out the truth about somebody or something in your life it's a great time for healing rituals the full moon is always nice to end the cycle of something that you don't want to have and the way to do it is to create a list of the things that you want to let go from your life and burn it on the full moon it always works well my wonderful cancers have amazing november see you soon